Have you ever stopped to think about how we tell time? It's something we often take for granted. We glance at our watches, check our phones, or look at the clock on the wall without a second thought. But have you ever wondered why it's a certain time in one place and a completely different time somewhere else? It seems so simple, right? Just a matter of hours and minutes ticking away. But the concept of time is much more complex when you consider the entire planet. But what about people living on the other side of the world? How do they keep track of time? Imagine coordinating a call between New York and Tokyo. The time difference can be quite confusing. It's already tomorrow in Australia when it's still today in the United States. How does that work? The answer lies in the rotation of the Earth. The Earth is constantly rotating on its axis, completing one full rotation approximately every 24 hours. This rotation is what gives us day and night. As the Earth spins, different parts of the planet face the sun at different times. When one side of the Earth is bathed in sunlight, the other side is in darkness. This is why we have day and night. The transition from day to night and back again is a continuous process that happens as the Earth rotates. But here's the thing. Noon in London isn't the same time as noon in Los Angeles. This is because the Earth is divided into different time zones. The sun doesn't hit both places at the same time. When it's noon in London, the sun is at its highest point in the sky there. But in Los Angeles, the sun is still rising. This is where time zones come in. Time zones are a way to standardize time across different regions of the world. Time zones are like slices of an orange, each representing a specific region of the Earth. Each slice or time zone is one hour apart from the next. They help us keep track of time across the globe. Without time zones, coordinating activities and communication across different parts of the world would be incredibly challenging. Time zones make it possible for us to live in a synchronized world, despite the vast distances that separate us. Imagine the Earth as a giant orange. This might sound a bit odd, but bear with me. The orange represents our planet, and just like an orange, the Earth can be divided into segments. Now slice that orange into 24 equal wedges. Each of these wedges represents one of the 24 time zones that cover our globe. Each wedge represents a time zone. These time zones help us keep track of time in a way that makes sense for our daily lives, no matter where we are on the planet. These time zones are roughly 15 degrees of longitude wide. Why 15 degrees? Well, it all comes down to the Earth's rotation and how we measure time. The Earth rotates 360 degrees in 24 hours. This means that in one hour, the Earth rotates 15 degrees. That means it rotates 15 degrees every hour. By dividing the Earth into these 15 degree segments, we can create a system where each time zone represents one hour of time. Each time zone is set one hour ahead or behind its neighboring time zones. This way, as you travel east or west, you adjust your clock by one hour for each time zone you cross. The time within a time zone is roughly synchronized to the position of the sun. This means that when the sun is at its highest point in the sky, it's around noon in that time zone. This system ensures that when it's noon in one time zone, it's 11 a.m. in the time zone to the west and 1 p.m. in the time zone to the east. This way, we can all have a consistent understanding of time, no matter where we are in the world. Traveling across time zones can be a bit like time traveling, at least in terms of the clock. Let's say you fly from New York City to London. New York City is in the Eastern Time Zone, while London is in Greenwich Mean Time. GMT is five hours ahead of ET. So, if you depart from New York at 8 p.m. ET and your flight takes six hours, you'll arrive in London at 9 a.m. GMT the next day. You gain time when you travel east and lose time when you travel west. This time difference can take some getting used to, especially if you're traveling long distances. Jet lag, anyone? To understand time zones better, let's look at some real-world examples. Time zones are regions of the Earth that have the same standard time. They're crucial for coordinating activities across different parts of the world. Without time zones, scheduling international meetings, flights, and even phone calls would be chaotic. Let's explore how time zones work by examining a few major cities around the globe. London, England, located at zero degrees longitude, London is in the Greenwich Mean Time Zone. This time zone is often used as a reference point for other time zones around the world. 
When it is noon in London, it is the baseline for calculating the time in other regions. New York City, USA New York City, is in the Eastern Time Zone, which is GMT-5. This means that when it is noon in London, it is 7 a.m. in New York. The Eastern Time Zone is used by many major cities on the East Coast of the United States, including Washington, D.C. and Miami. This means New York is five hours behind London. So, if you have a friend in London and you want to call them at 3 p.m. your time in New York, it will already be 8 p.m. for them. Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo is in the Japan Standard Time Zone, which is GMT plus 9. This means that when it is noon in London, it is 9 p.m. in Tokyo. Japan Standard Time is used throughout Japan, including in major cities like Osaka and Kyoto. Tokyo is 9 hours ahead of London. So if you are in London and you want to schedule a meeting with someone in Tokyo at 10 a.m. your time, it will be 7 p.m. for them. Sydney, Australia. Sydney is in the Australian Eastern Standard Time Zone, which is GMT plus 10. This means that when it is noon in London, it is 10 p.m. in Sydney. Australian Eastern Standard Time is used by several major cities in Australia, including Melbourne and Brisbane. Sydney is 10 hours ahead of London. So if you are in London, and you want to call someone in Sydney at 6 p.m. your time, it will be 4 a.m. the next day for them. As you can see, time zones can get a little tricky, but they're essential for keeping track of time across the globe. They help us coordinate activities, travel, and communication, making our interconnected world more manageable. Understanding time zones is key to navigating our global society efficiently. Section 5. The Curious Case of the International Date Line Now let's talk about the International Date Line. This imaginary line runs from the North Pole to the South Pole, mostly along the 180-degree meridian in the Pacific Ocean. Think of the International Date Line as the opposite of the Prime Meridian, which is zero degrees longitude, in Greenwich, England. But here's the interesting part. When you cross the International Date Line, you don't just change time zones, you also change days. Section 6. Why the Dateline Matters, Avoiding Temporal Chaos Why do we need the International Dateline? Imagine what would happen if we didn't have it. People could travel around the world and arrive back home on the same day they left, even if they were gone for a week. The International Dateline prevents this kind of temporal chaos. It ensures that everyone on Earth agrees on what day it is. Here's how it works. If you cross the International Dateline traveling eastward, you subtract a day. If you cross it traveling westward, you add a day. Section 7. Fun Facts About Time Zones and the Dateline Here are some fun facts about time zones and the international dateline. China, despite its vast size, only uses one time zone, Beijing Standard Time, GMT plus 8. The international dateline isn't perfectly straight. It zigzags to avoid dividing countries and island groups. Did you know that there are half-hour and even quarter-hour time zones? Nepal and India are two examples. Time zones and the dateline are full of fascinating quirks. Section 8. It's a matter of time. Global coordination. Understanding time zones and the international dateline is crucial in today's interconnected world. Businesses rely on this system for scheduling meetings, coordinating projects, and conducting international transactions. Imagine trying to schedule a video conference with colleagues in different time zones without a common understanding of time. Chaos. Time zones also play a vital role in transportation and communication. Airlines, shipping companies, and telecommunication networks rely on accurate timekeeping to function smoothly. Section 9. Conclusion. Time zones. Make the world go round. Time zones and the international dateline might seem like abstract concepts, but they have a very real impact on our lives. They help us make sense of time in a world constantly spinning. From scheduling international flights to coordinating business deals, time zones are essential for global coordination. So next time you travel or talk to someone on the other side of the world, take a moment to appreciate the magic of time zones.